Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. Well, I want to tell you a story that my buddy Russ told me. He and uh, his friend Melissa were fishing first, first of the season pike, and they had gone one day and they hadn't even got a strike. And I'm like, what has happened? So two days ago, a day that I've told you in another report that I caught the biggest, one of the biggest fish in my entire life, I saw them down in my favorite area. They were in Russ Canoe. And as they got closer, I says, uh, and, and Melissa was in the front of the canoe. And I says, so how are you guys doing? And Melissa just dangled out something on the end of her rod to show me. And it was a spinnerbait that she had made herself. And Rust and I have fished for Northerns, and we've fished with every type of spinnerbait, and it's one of our favorite lures. And Rust, I said, so is Melissa again catching more fish than you? And he kind of laughed. He said, 10 to 1, 20 to 1. Apparently on this day, they had a lot of reaction, a lot of good luck. But, and here's the whole basis of this fishing report. The color of her spinnerbait was purple. And I've told you before that I, last year, purple became one of my favorite colors. I did, and and it became one of my favorite because I caught more fish on it than anything else. So Rust, who we've even jokingly done radio shows together, never believes color makes a difference. He says to me, okay, I'm a believer now. I'm going to try to find a purple spinnerbait. My point is that color can really really matter a lot. And I now I'm going to tell you another story. A friend of mine came up here to fish on the reservation a few weeks ago when it was legal to be able to fish there. He's he's a lawyer out of Providence, Rhode Island that's been a great friend. He's, he has a booth at most of the sports shows that Linda and I go to where he's selling some of the lures. that he, This is his hobby in life, is doing this. So he comes up and I talk to him. I wasn't able to go fishing with them at the time. And I said, so Lou, tell me, what has been the, the, the secret of your fishing up here? Was there any lure that stood out? And he thought for a second. He said, well, he did something with this one lure that he and I had talked about. But he says, I'm going to tell you what happened. He says, we went through a lull period. We weren't getting any strikes at all. And I look at my, my lures that I have, and I see this red rattle trap, bright red rattle trap. He says, I put this, this on, and bam, I started catching fish. I had one more of them. I gave it to my buddy that was in the boat with me, and he started catching fish. Was it the fact that it was a rattle trap and it was rattling and making noise. Lou feels it was the color red. Again, this is about color and how color can make such a difference. He said, we tried other things and they had stopped hitting them. But the red, the red inspired the fish to hit. And I've seen this on a lot of national reports about fishing in the spring. And they all say that red is a color of choice because it mimics maybe molten crayfish down south because it, it, this is going to happen earlier or whatever. But red seems to be a great color. For me, in the past, orange has always been the color in the spring. I, I just believe it more than anything I can tell you, that if I've got something on orange, I'm going to catch more fish than anything else. As it becomes summer, that no longer is the case for me. I have Then it's my color purple. But I guess I want to end this report by saying color really does matter. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.